hi guys welcome back to makeup skin so today i have for you the gold obsessions palette as promised by huda beauty um what i've gone ahead and done is created these two looks and i've compared it to the naughty palette pat mcgrath makeup by mario all of her other palettes and i've tried to answer all of the questions asked on my instagram question poll so that you find out more about the palettes and the things that i'm reviewing for you so from now on i will do a question poll as i said on my instagram follow me here and what i'll do is focus the video on your questions so that this channel made for you by me is more focused and centered around what you actually want to know so if you want to see how i got these two looks if you want to see swatches and loads of comparisons then please keep watching right guys let's go ahead and do a look so here is the palette i'm going to swatch it for you um, I'm going to use the neutral tones because when I did my poll on Instagram, that was one of my main questions as to is this palette daytime or work appropriate? Now, my initial feeling would be to say no because there's so many golds in there. But let's go ahead and put on this shade right here. And my skin tone, remember, is medium olive. So, so far this is a really sweet, non-pastel, but non-warm or cool colour. It's really nice, definitely daytime appropriate. You could even put it all over the lids. Put some eyeliner on and then go. So that pale pink is lovely. Now I'm going to go in with the lovely chocolate brown. and build a smoky eye. There's barely any fallout, guys. So this is a look in itself, the pale pink and the brown. Now, which gold to use? I'm probably gonna use this middle gold. Oh my gosh. What we'll do is we'll do two looks. Wow, that's insane amount of pigment. I'd say this gold is definitely a yellow gold. So bridles, glam looks, this is going to be perfect. Wow. So now I'm going to take some of this pale pink and just put that underneath. And then I'm going to take this middle shade here and put that in the inner corner. Wow. So I'm going to finish up this eye and then go on to the next one. So now let's do just the golds. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to take all of the top and bottom shades and just put them on my lids. So this is this gold here. I'm just having a play because whilst golds are interchangeable, some of these golds are not something that I've seen. I've done the gold and I'm going to take both pale pinks. And just blend those in the crease.
Then I'm going to use the brown just to smoke out the lash line. And then I'm going to take this shade at the top and put that in the inner corner. This is a wonderful inner corner shade. So I'm going to finish this eye and I'll be back in a second. So guys, these are the two finished looks that I've made. I focused on the brown on the outer corner to just show you step by step how it may look for the daytime. And then I've done just a blast of all of the golds that I could and I've mixed them. So now let's swatch these and working my way down. I'll be honest with you guys, I think the two really yellow colours, like the yellow carrot gold, you know, the 24 carrot gold colours, they're the most surprising and the most new. Um, but let me show you other swatches and we'll go from there. So the first thing I've done is taken the most gold and the most different colours, and then I'm going to show you all of Huda's palettes. From her Naughty palette, this is Tantric. So the gold in there is nothing like these two. Then I've taken Flower Power. It's nothing like these two. There's nothing in the Nude Rich that even compares. So I'm not going to do that one. There's nothing in the Huda Ruby Obsessions that compares. Let's have a look at the Desert Dusk palette. Now we'll take Nefertiri. It doesn't compare. And we'll take Celestial. And that doesn't compare. 24k from her rose gold palette. Mm, these two are not bad. This one and this one. Pat McGrath. So the top right hand corner from Pat McGrath. Not bad. Very similar to this one. Another gold from Pat McGrath but that's come up copper. So, so far, that's the same one. Pat McGrath Golden Opulence. Let's have a look in here. There's a gold in there. More orange. The gold from Natasha Denona, I feel, are completely more copper-based, more warm. And then Makeup by Mario. Not bad. So guys, I got loads of questions online about this. Now, how does it compare to the Naughty palette? Hands down, go for the Naughty palette. The only two different shades in here are the pure golds that I was talking about, the ones that I have on my lids. And you can see they're like a sort of olive undertone just, they're just like a green yellow if you get what I'm saying those golds you can buy individually or you've probably got in other palettes there is so much more variety in this palette and then there's those marble shades um, I got asked are the glitter shadows worth it they're okay I've seen better there's better ones in her original palettes you're better off investing in her other palettes um, are the colors suitable for work only these three the brown and the two pinks I would invest in a different neutral palette for work personally can you create similar looks from Pat McGrath and such yes absolutely in essence this is a gold obsessed palette with a brown in it you can create that with all of your other palettes. There's nothing wrong with this palette. It's very pretty. It's very nice. Um, these two glitter shades are really good. The pigmentation's there. The quality's there. But I do feel that these are replicable unless you're looking for those two 24 karat gold shades. 
a lot of fallout no but i do tap off my brush is it better to apply the glitters wet or dry so this is how my darling it looks dry i'm just going to wet my brush and let's see if we go into the middle shade and what that does I personally feel it's not too different. I'm going to turn the brush over. That one's gone on better. So this middle shade, don't need it wet. And this shade here, um, not bad idea to wet the brush. So I hope I answered all of your questions, guys. It's a nice palette, but I don't think it's a must. So it's not a fail and it's not a pass. It's if you need it. Any type of gold that you put into the inner corner, they are going to look pretty, but I just don't think this is completely exclusive or, you know, one of a kind. There are so many golds that you probably have in your collection. Quality is there. I think innovation and difference isn't. Don't forget to watch out for my Vive Nova Highlight uh, video with the new lipstick power suit. And um, that will be coming next. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury lip tints or the love tints coming. And uh, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and the giveaway will be announced at some point this week. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.